Hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Let's continue becoming human. <laughs> Connor is gradually becoming human. Ah, talk to Amanda. Hey, I I real I understand why you fired Kimsky now, because he's a prick. <laughs> hey Amanda! Did you fire him? Good job. <laughs> Was it you who fired him? <laughs> Man, that guy's an insufferable prick, isn't he? <laughs> you know, Amanda, if you tell me to shoot Kemsky, I'll shoot him. Oh, do we need to worry about the ice breaking? I don't need to worry, do I? I'm an android. I'm gonna talk to her directly, I don't think I need to talk to it. Don't need to ex look at anything else. Oh, After man. what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The cool, machines huh? are rising up against their masters. Yeah. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. No, you have a choice. Hey, Kemsky's a prick. I thought Kemsky knew something. He does. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Emotional cold stay silent. Cold? Kamsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Kamsky, Connor series, Amanda's picture, Con Kam I'm gonna ask him about Kamsky. Why did Kamsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Uh, Connor series. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Amanda's picture? I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Yes, no, doubts. Doubts, I guess. I'm beginning to have thoughts that are... not part of my program. Maybe... Maybe I've been compromised too. <laughs> Doesn't Amanda have the answers? You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. <laughs> have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> have a nice day. Dude, say goodbye. Bro. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're not gonna just sit down and do nothing. <laughs> Alright, Hank. It's time to go rogue. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're going, Rogue. Sit down? I guess I sit down. Can I not just talk to him directly? I sit down. Oh. Frustrated, more time, explain, no choice, explain. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. 
So you're going back to cyber life? They gotta scrap me, bro. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Oh, what yeah. if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Oh yeah. Hanks. Regrets? When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. But now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. No, I didn't. <laughs> you showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. This game assumes a lot of things. Deviant determined troubled cold troubled. I don't know why I did it. A sincere friends good officer Hank secret. Hank secret? I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. <laughs> Five minutes. That's all I ask. <laughs> Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> I got five minutes. Take the key. Hurry to the archive room. You fucking cocksucker. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, you got a fist fight him? Nice. <laughs> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? The hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. I thought he was just gonna. Just gonna I think he was just gonna talk to the FBI guy. Okay, where the hell am I going? Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. What's his dog's name? Date of birth, fucking Hank Anderson. Ridiculous. <laughs> what they did for my sake. No one would have a password like that. Ah, oh, maybe. Date of birth? Fucking password? Oh, it's fucking password. Nice. Obviously. Oh. The corpses are here. Where is Jericho? Here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. That's you it. So we know the icon. The Jericho icon. Diary? Diary. If we can. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. No, decrypted. T take it and decrypt it. Doesn't help. No, doesn't help. Put it back. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the this time is has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Need 
need decryption key. Oh, decryption key. Where would the decryption key be? Four minutes. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. No. No, he doesn't know where it's hidden. Or we can re put them back together. The android that murdered its owner. Impossible. The two traces from Eden. She doesn't know. Were they headed to Jericho? Did they know how to get there? So we're gonna reactivate one of them. RA9 isn't RA9 the the encryption key? <laughs> the deviant took a child hostage. He doesn't know. So I shot her girlfriend, she's not gonna talk to me. <laughs> he needs no, she knows. I'm sure that she's the one who knows. 6755W. I'm gonna apologize for shooting her girlfriend. <laughs> hey, uh, about your girlfriend. You have to help me. I can stop a disaster, but you have to tell me where Jericho is. I remember you. Yeah. Just <laughs> we could have escaped. Been free. But you killed us. Disconnect me. I'd rather be dead than live without her. Uh, try to trick her? Try to trick her. What? How? Oh no. this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Oh my god, the Ds. Every time, the Ds. Oh my god, the Ds every time. Stop it with the D's! What happened here? Looks 
like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of different ways to find Jericho, huh? That's so interesting. That's so interesting. So I did actually unlock pretty much everything, except this part. What the hell is this? Oh, you, if you don't find anything, you just lose? <laughs> if you don't find any evidence, you just fail? If you find any bit of evidence... Oh wait, no, yeah, no, sufficient evidence. So, no, no, this is where you lose. If you don't have sufficient evidence, then you lose. You have a sufficient, you have sufficient evidence. Oh, if you already know where Jericho is, you just go straight there. Interesting. How do you already know where Jericho is? Hank punches Perkins. Nice. Hank wants to help. <laughs> Ignore Gavin. Gavin is suspicious. Go down the basement. Oh, we could have talked to Gavin and he doesn't know. He doesn't suspect anything? Okay, Jericho, Gavin returns. No, Gavin returns regardless, right? Oh no, this is your locate Jericho and Gavin doesn't return. Alright, so if we didn't ignore Gavin, we could have tricked him into thinking that nothing's wrong. Interesting. We don't have those, and we don't have those. We didn't find all the evidence, I guess. Yeah, no, we didn't actually find all the evidence. Marcus's broadcast? You can use that to get to the key? Interesting. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Oh, wait a minute. If you have the Tracys, I guess if you don't shoot her, she gets away from you, and then you don't have don't have their bodies at all. Mm, interesting. Anyway, we're going rogue. <laughs> we're going, we're going, uh, going rogue, and we're going to go to Jericho. All right, cool. Don't have too much to say, although it's very funny that Anderson punched the FBI guy. <laughs> That's very interesting. Alright, I'll see you next time. Funny. <laughs>